All right, so question number 13, cell theory. So you guys read about cell theory and remember the components. Number one, all right, all living things, all right, are made from cells. Okay, so that's number one. All right, so living things are made from cells. All right, okay, number two. Remember that cells come from other cells. All right, and number three, okay, is that cells are the smallest living things, okay? right they're the smallest living things obviously they're smaller things than cells but they're the smallest living thing okay how do we get to a cell remember we have these things called atoms atoms come together to form molecules and molecules come together to form bigger molecules macromolecules and then the macromolecules come together to make the cell all right so keep that in mind um, all living things are made from cells cells come from other cells and cells are the smallest living thing but there are smaller things than cells they're just not considered living all right all right so question number six uh, mitosis so what is mitosis so remember if um, our discussion about cell theory all cells come from other or existing cells, okay? So let's imagine this is a skin cell, okay? So what needs to happen is the cell, in order for us to make more skin cells, right? What needs to happen literally, all right? So let's imagine that this post-it is the cell, okay? And so what needs to happen is this cell is going to have DNA. It's going to copy its DNA. So now, okay, the cell is kind of like double its size, and then it splits, it divides, okay? And now you have two different cells, okay? Um, so you started with one and now you have two. This process of one cell growing and dividing, creating two identical cells, okay, is called mitosis. So think of mitosis, think of two, okay, you're forming two identical cells cells okay um, and so that's how our bodies make new cells okay through mitosis all right so a cell has to grow copy everything inside of it and then it splits in half and now that one cell now okay splits up and divides into two so mitosis is a cell dividing okay to form two new cells all right, and the key thing is those two cells are now gonna be identical, all right? And our body always needs to make new cells. How does it do it? Through the process of mitosis, all right? So keep that in mind, mitosis, cells, it's just equals the cell dividing to make two new identical cells, all right? All right, so let's talk about question number so number 12 says name the levels of organization of your body so remember our body is made out of these things called cells okay and then cells come together as you watched in the microscope okay and cells that are of the same or similar to each other come together to form these things called those are the nucleuses okay tissues okay there's different types of tissues 
for example, there's epithelial tissue, there's connective tissue, there's muscle tissue, there's nervous tissue. Okay, so those are the various different tissues. Now, when you, so there's different types of tissues, right? So what ends up happening is when the different types of tissues come together, now you have an organ. So for example, the heart. The heart is made out of muscle plus nervous tissue. Um, the muscle tissue allows the, the heart to contract. The nervous tissue allows the heart to communicate with the brain. And so an organ is a collection of, of a bunch of different tissues, all right? So think that. And then when um, the organs, when organs come together to do a specific job, then you have an organ system, right? So for example, the circulatory system is comprised of the heart, Okay, your veins, your arteries, okay, um, and your blood, right? So what ends up happening is this is one particular organ system, okay, that's made of different organs. Your digestive system is another organ system. Your uh, excretory system is another a system. Your skeletal system is another system. But the but we are organized, okay? We and when you put all the organ systems together, then you get a organism. Okay? All right? So that's when you have all the organ systems. Okay? Put together. So um so remember, we're working our way back. Okay? Cells make up tissues. These are the four types of tissues. Okay, when tissues come together, you get an organ. And when organs come together, you get an organ system. And when organ systems come together, you get a organism. All right, I hope that helps. All right, so now let's talk about question number 14, which has to do with cell specialization. All right, so cell specialization Okay, what does that mean? That just means that cells have specific jobs. Okay, they're specialized to do specific jobs. Now, let's talk about some examples. For example, the red blood cell. Okay, it has a job. Okay, a special job, which is to transport oxygen so that's its job okay muscle cells okay they do a different job than red blood cells okay they um, contract and move your bones Okay, so notice how two cells are specialized, okay, meaning they have specific jobs, their jobs are different. So as a result, muscle cells, okay, are going to have lots, uh, require lots of energy, so therefore they're going to have lots of mitochondria. because the mitochondria is gonna make lots of energy, okay, so the muscle cells can do their job. Red blood cells are gonna have mitochondria, but not as much. Red blood cells are gonna have a special protein called hemoglobin, right? They have a special protein, and that protein allows the red blood cells to transport oxygen. Muscle cells don't make that protein. Okay, so it's very important that you guys understand that cells have specific jobs and therefore what's made, what they do, what ha happens inside of it is going to be slightly different. They all have the same organelles, but the red blood cell is going to build special proteins that the muscle cell is not. The muscle cell is going to have more organelles, okay, than the red, uh, more mitochondria than the red blood cell because it needs more energy and so forth. So on the test, you'll be tested on this concept, all right? So make sure that you understand that cells have special jobs, 
okay? And because of that job, they're gonna need different tools, okay? So that they can do their job, all right?